Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Welcome back everybody. Uh, this is a general love reading for Virgos only, right? Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take a fits, leave the rest. Hello everyone in the chat. Um, also, there's a link below this video and on, on, also in the chat to um, book, a, I'm sorry, book a personal reading with me if you need to get one. Okay, you guys. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Let's see what your messages are here, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. <clears throat> okay. Knight of Cups. Death card. King of Swords. Ten of Swords. The Magician. Center of the reading. Oh, King of Pentacles. Uh... Page of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Six of Pentacles, bottom of the reading, the Emperor, the Emperor is back, darling. Okay, Aries energy, somebody coming forward. Ooh, okay. Mm. You're getting some love messages, or maybe an air sign involved, could be an Aries. You're getting some communication from somebody who's been missing in action, um, coming in to make some kind of an offer for you to you like legit showing up at your door or you might be getting some flowers or a gift or a letter or something um even give you some money somebody there might have been a stalemate situation i feel like that's moving forward here okay um let's take a look and see what your love messages are okay so you have uh libra gemini aquarius scorpio virgo taurus capricorn okay so if that resonates for you, great. If not, just leave it. Let's take a look. What are the love messages here for you? Okay, honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together, you guys. There's going to be some holiday love, romance, Christmas lights, hot chocolate for yourself. Time to take back control of your life and some playfulness happening here. Okay, I feel like you're going to be connecting with someone. Somebody's coming in around the holidays for you. Okay. Definitely. There's some communication coming in. Somebody might even propose or make a love offer to you of some sort. Okay. Uh, let's get some clarifiers and see what's going on. So this King of Swords, somebody who's coming through uh, very strongly. Okay. They just said it's a Libra. Okay. It's a Libra. This person's got their eye on you, Virgo. They have got their eye on you and they, you are it for them. You are it. This person wants to marry you. I mean, they're coming, they admire you. They, they're coming in to express, give you their cup. You know, princess or prince charming coming in here, a romantic proposal. Okay, go away together. Um, I mean, I'm seeing like Venice for some, taking a trip somewhere, um, like a very romantic holiday, rom holiday romance. All right, let me take a look here at this death card okay they're putting an ending to something something ended or something's ending or will be ending big changes happening here moving forward rebirth and transformation oh look the star new hope aquarian energy new hope healing there's some healing happening here like it's like it feels like uh after some kind of ending or something has happened or maybe they had had they were dealing with a death of some sort. feels like there's a renewal of hope. Wow. I love a star card. I think it's like the most beautiful card. Um, some of you might have blonde hair. Somebody got, or some of you or, or first somebody might have blonde hair. Um, this is like a miracle. It's like a freaking miracle. This person could be kind of... It could be somebody in the public eye. Um, they could be somebody who's like, they could be famous, or they could just be well known, or they could be well known for something, maybe, yeah, just well known for something. But you know, the star, I mean, when that card shows up in a love reading, it's like the best, like there's an end of illness or depression, or, you know, um, somebody might have had a, there might have been impotence connected. Uh, to that and maybe it might have been an issue with that um, no more being like I don't feel like there's a no more being ignored kind of energy here okay
okay. Um, if there was arrogance, that's over. <laughs> like, I just feel like somebody is surrendering to this connection, surrendering to you here. They're freeing themselves from whatever betrayals or past issues. Okay, they're coming through here like ready to like they're very focused on you or will be very focused on you going forward, especially around the holiday time. Um, I mean, it's not even like it's a proposal, but it's like offering their love to you, you know, like coming in with like tell you how much they love you, how attracted they are to you, how they have these feelings for you. You know, they want to connect with you. They want to be with you. Let me see. Show me the magician here. King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. I mean, this person is on your mind. They look left, they see you. They look right, they see you. You're just all over everything they see in their periphery. It's like they're looking through the Virgo glasses. Everything they see. This person is like hitting rock bottom, completely surrendered. They're just completely willing to just, they're, they're giving up, surrendering to whatever, to you. Surrendering to you, to be with you. Okay, so they're freeing themselves whatever cage they had themselves in or however they may have felt caged in. Okay, so this person's got plans, I'm telling you. You know, they're thinking about giving you a ring. They're thinking about um, moving something forward with you, contributing in a tangible way to this relationship. I mean, seriously taking a risk here, like a leap of faith. It's a lot of playful energy coming from this person wanting romance they want to play with you they want things light and easy they don't want anything they don't want to have the seriousness and the drudgery they just want to be accepted and have that love and the reciprocity here all right show me the full card okay got the hangman this person's totally what has happened to this person like a completely new perspective that's piscean energy it's like this, I feel like this person like is making sacrifices here, self-sacrificing themselves, seeing things differently. Maybe they were selfish in the past um, or played this victim card or something or, you know, like I feel like they're like, I, I feel like they're out of that energy. They're coming out of that energy. So be communication about making plans with you. Um, like this reading, it feels like November, like going into the holiday season. So I feel like there's going to be like some kind of text message from this person. Um, maybe they tell you they get a new job or they got some extra money or you want to take a trip or they give you a ticket for something. Um, could be a plane ticket or a cruise or like to go somewhere together. I just want to get another card here for the hangman. Oh boy, the sun. Leo energy. I feel like you guys get Leo a lot. This person's showing up like they're very positive about this. They are so happy. Uh, this is just coming out into the open. This person just, whatever down moments that they have like depression or issues um, at times or they go up and down, like they're in a very uplifting, positive place right now or will be going forward. Okay? Like this is a joyous outcome. This person just, I feel... Just her girls just wanna have fun. So I don't know what that's about, but I feel like this person is just coming in wanting to be with you. They just wanna play with you. <laughs> like, okay, are they gonna propose marriage? For some of you, they may. Um, and for others, th there's just this, it could be somebody new that they wanna spend time with you and offering, you know, to tell you how much they uh, are like smitten with you or they just, you're going to get like a lot of admiration from this person. They, they just look at you. You're like their North Star. They just look at you and they're just like, oh my God, you're so sweet. And I just want to spend time with you and I want to be with you. And let's go have fun. Let's go play or something. I just feel like the holiday period is going to be very romantic for a lot of you. And just, you're going to feel really good. I just feel like feeling really good. Usually my readings are like, F the narcissist. <laughs> This feels very positive. Highly logical male. Okay. And it could be female. This is someone who's air energy. Okay. This is someone who's got air energy. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be another Virgo. Because Vir Virgos are... Uh, it could be uh, a Capricorn too. All right. Um, 
but I do, I do, I am picking up Aquarius and Libra energy, um, too. Let me see. Well, spying online. This person's been watching you. Now, spying online, like I said, doesn't have to be on social media. It could be just anywhere. Wherever you're active, it could be a work thing, um, checking your background, looking you up, that kind of stuff. Wealth, health, and abundance. So this person's coming in. They have like good, maybe they have good money or they have a lot of money. Um, but I feel like for you, you're going to be feeling very like, like you have it all. They view you that way, though because of the uh, Empress card, okay? And we did have the Emperor as well, like someone who's like, got like someone who has everything. Let me see. Okay, anger, no one's situation. Hmm. Oh, this person's surrendering. That's what it is. They might have been angry if you knew them before. They had anger problems or felt like things weren't going to work out or things weren't, oh, okay. They just gave me twin soul. I just opened this up and message from an admirer okay this is your you're definitely your so twin soul is kind of a combination where it's like it's like your twin soulmate kind of energy here i created that because <laughs> i'm a rebel and i go against what everybody else says twin souls energy it's like you guys are kind of in this process like we we know that we're meant to be together but the struggle is so difficult okay so that when things are good you feel have that soulmate feeling together and then when you're in separation or things are difficult then it feels like a twin flame so i put it together and the message is to communicate your love to the divine be thankful for this connection it's you've been chosen for one another when times are tough and seem back and forth this love is meant to be and it's time to reconcile so i do feel like a reconciliation is coming up here with you and somebody else and when times are tough that does not mean that this is not your person okay it may just be a time of confusion and you don't know what's going on or you don't understand this person or things like that. Everything happens for a reason and you're meant to be together. You're meant to sort through things here together. Test of faith and boundaries. See, that's what I was saying. You're being tested right now with this person and I know it's pissing you off. And you're like, why can't this just be easy? Why can't we just have like an easy, like what the, okay. You're being tested. Your boundaries are being tested. And listen, don't think you're something special or unique. That happens to everybody. Everybody gets tested. Everybody's boundaries get tested. I mean, what's the point of having boundaries if they're not going to be tested, right? If, we weren't, if, if, we weren't, if life wasn't testing us, we could just be, you know, jellyfish willy-nilly all over the place and it wouldn't matter, okay? So where's your faith at on a scale of 1 to 10? Where's your faith? Take a look at that. Where are your boundaries at? How strong are they with some people? How weak are they with others? Okay, they're flowing cards. Struggle, challenge, and competition. This is definitely, this is the test of faith and the boundaries that are happening. And a loving, older female. Some of you, it could be you, or it could be somebody that you're connecting with. Let's see, I'm gonna be pulling these for a little bit. Um, so the link to get these cards, right? So I had the link there, but for some reason I couldn't get it up on my site. So I'm going to need you guys to just hold off on that. I know some of you are interested in getting these cards. And once I get them, I have to order them. And once I get some in stock, then I'll be able to post it up on my Etsy and then you'll be able to purchase them. Okay. Okay. Endure and be patient. Virgo, I just feel like with this situation and what's coming through here, whatever you're dealing with, this twin soul thing, like you're being asked to be patient. I mean, it's not easy. This situation is really hard for you because you love this person. This person, I don't know that they're even sure of what's happening to them or what's going on with them. And they're giving you mixed messages and you might be confused by that. And that's okay um, because they're, they're on their journey and you're on yours and you guys have met or you're currently together, but it's like, there's, there's some underlying confusion because I feel like you've got somebody who's just coming towards you and doing something that's giving the impression that they're interested, but then they're pulling back and then you're like, wait, I'm confused. Okay. So I feel like you're definitely being tested. I feel like this isn't going to last forever. 
but I do feel like you're, you're being asked to be patient. Okay, putting an effort here. So I do see someone who's, they're attempting and they're trying to put an effort here with you. And of course, it's, uh, you want this person's um, full 100% effort. I'm not so sure that they're able to give you everything right now, but I feel like they want to. Um, I feel like maybe they're not sure about you or you're not sure or you're both not sure about each other and so there's a bit of confusion in connection to that okay popular social female so that could be you as well or this is somebody that you're connecting with who's quite popular I feel like I said that someone may be in the public eye or in the public that everybody knows okay like I said it could be you there's somebody here who's in that position Okay, victory, recognition, and applause, and then non-committal in reverse. So this person is coming in to win your heart. They want to commit. They definitely want to be with you. It's just taking some time. Like I feel like there was some issues in the past that they had to like come to terms with and finish out. Okay, yep, that's what I was just saying. Transition, the end of suffering is upon you. Out with the old, in with the new, and the same with them. No one said it would be easy or has been. This season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new season here. Allow it to happen and go with the flow. Change is upon you. So we're going into this new season here. Um, the fall will be coming out of that soon and going into the winter season. But, um, and for some of you, it's the opposite depending on what hemisphere you're in. But um, there's definitely, I feel like when the holidays come, things are going to be a lot different the transition that's when you're really going to pick up and notice this energy all right let's take a look and see what your moonology messages are here okay yep a new start is coming I'm telling you endure and be patient virgo there's something new happening here a new beginning That's the new moon. Wow. Take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. Okay. Your exhale is more important than your inhale. In, in a, if you're trying to get rid of toxic energy or toxic negativity within yourself, that should come out with every exhale. And with every inhale should be you inhaling all the good. So you think in your mind all the beautiful and all the good um, about this person or what have you. And you inhale that. And then you exhale all the negative thinking or the negative things. Unless, of course, uh, you were dealing with someone who was beating the shit out of you, then you just need to like get your breaths going, inhale, exhale, and run as fast as you can, right? Your, your breathing should be sped up. Um, if you need to forgive somebody just to release yourself from their claws that they may still have on you and you're not even connected with them anymore, that's where you do exhaling the negative and inhaling the forgiveness, right? That forgiveness, people get it, people get it confused. <sighs> you don't have to be a Christian to be forgiving people. The purpose to forgive is so that you don't fester so that you don't hold on to the resentment you let go of the anger it's not you're not forgiving them in the sense where it's not connected to trust okay um, trust is a separate issue because you can forgive somebody and then they could come back in your life they could ask for your forgiveness you could say yes i forgive you i'm not angry anymore i've let it go um but that doesn't mean you get another chance that doesn't mean i'm gonna let you back in I need you to prove that I can trust you again, right? That's how that works. But the forgiveness is a separate thing. Because forgiveness is like a cancer within the heart. Uh, or, or not forgiving is a cancer within the heart. If you have not forgiven someone, then that will eat up your heart. And you, you have to get into that state. I don't know who that's a message for, but I just feel like I needed to go there with that for somebody. All right, let me see here. What else? okay the energy is gaining momentum okay things are going to start picking up for sure did my music just end are you kidding i think my music ended oh well somebody sing 
All right, let's see what else do you have? The end of a tough cycle approaches. See, Moon and Capricorn. If you have Moon and Capricorn, it's specifically for you. The end of a tough cycle is approaching here. Okay. Um, so whatever you're going through, I feel like when the season changes, uh, maybe when we go into Capricorn season, for some of you, it could be the end of December. Um, but the holiday it could be um, like uh, in the new year as well. Uh, like like the new year, new year holiday. Let's see. You also have balanced spirituality and practical moon and Pisces. So if you're moon and Pisces, that's for you. Um, yeah, I always say that. I love this card because I always feel like, you know, don't be everything in moderation, you know, balance. You can be spiritual, but you got to be sensible. You got to be sensible. Okay, you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Listen, Virgo, you got it going on. You need to know that. You are good enough. You can do anything that you want. You can go. You can be. Um, you are very attractive. People are very interested in you. You are worthy. You're worthy of this person. You're definitely good enough for this person. Even if you ever feel like you're not, um, that's a lie. Uh, that's a lie. Hold on. I'm trying to get my music back. Oh, it's always something, isn't it? <laughs> Give me a sec. All right. Hopefully that's not going to be too loud. All right. Let's see what else. Let's get the love messages here. Is that loud? All right. It is what it is. Okay. Love messages. Whatever goes love messages. Coming forward. Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. I feel like somebody you already, some of you already know that. You've been learning a lot. You've been getting um, spiritual downloads. You've been getting contact by spirits. Um, it's crazy. I just moved and I keep seeing deer. I keep, I saw deer like a few days ago and I saw a deer last night at like three o'clock in the morning. Just I looked to my left and it was like a deer just standing there looking at me so close I could touch it and I just froze I was like oh my god what do I do and then it just was lingering around me I just keep having this this one particular deer just keeps lingering around me and that's a spiritual totem message so some of you are getting those spiritual totems as well um, there's things here this person's presence in your life is some things are, they're, they're attached. They're like a messenger. They don't even know it. Okay. They're definitely more than that, but they're, you're learning a lot of things about your past or your history or your present. You're getting uh, signs for some of you and these things are showing up and, and they're all connected to this person in some strange way and you can't quite figure it out, but you just intuitively know that there's something here for you or from connected to this person i just keep looking at this message from an admirer okay so this person like whoever they are really they are just in awe of you and you're getting some signs from them and things that just don't make sense in your life okay trust is safe for you to trust in situations so i feel like this whole thing is okay i don't feel like you have to worry about anything I feel like this person was brought to you from the divine. I feel like you need to, uh, it says, communicate your love to the divine and be thankful for the soul love connection. So I feel like if you feel like this is your person, um, to thank the divine for bringing them into your life because this person comes attached with change in your life. It's, it's bringing change to you intuition see you already know a lot of you already know about this situation with this person who are they are they someone that you've been connecting with for a while or is this somebody you could be meeting for some of you in you know during this holiday time like you meet your other half or you meet up with your other half let's see what else okay regret yeah this person feels bad about maybe how they treated you in the past it's just a past connection there's an energy here of like sorry 
uh, that they didn't move forward or they didn't connect with you going forward or something in those lines, along those lines. They might, maybe they weren't ready. They just weren't sure about things. Okay, abundance. You've done the work now. Virgo, abundance flows to you, so that's very good. Okay, there's some obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So I kind of feel like this person, um, they're working on that these obstacles and that's what i said I, I feel like in the meeting what's coming up here um you know they're putting an end with the death card or or something has ended in their life and they're they're just still trying to heal those wounds you know because something could happen and then the the the, we, the wounds maybe they heal improperly or they don't heal well um and those wounds need to be reopened again and cleaned and then to heal properly and better that could be an issue Okay, um, or there's like a splinter stuck somewhere that needs to be removed. And this person, I feel like they still have some obstacles they're working through, but I, I do feel like they, like you're their person. Uh, maybe they just can't give you everything that you want or they haven't been able to, or they're come, but they're coming to that place where they're able to do this. Okay, yeah, there might have been an addiction as well. Maybe it's in you. Um, Maybe there's healing from an addiction or this person has an addiction. Okay, there, it, is, it is playing a role in this connection here, in this relationship. And that could be um, this person coming into your life for that reason. You know, you help them heal some kind of an addiction or give them strength and hope and vice versa. Okay, retreat, time alone, or in nature will help you recharge. So I feel like this is time alone together. I feel like you two are going to be retreating together, having fun, being joyful, spending time together. Um, you know, just so much love and romance coming forward here. And some of you just need to go out into the woods. I don't know. Just recharge or plug your phones in or unplug your phone and recharge in, spiritually in life. New love, okay, a new love or recommitment to love is developing here, okay? So for some of you, this is somebody new coming in, okay? Who's your twin soul? And for others, this is like a recommitment to a love or a lover um, or someone that you were connected to in the past. Let's see what your advice is. I feel like this reading is going to be a little bit shorter. But when the messages come through and they're done, then that's that. Let's take a look here. What are Virgo's other messages here for Virgo? Okay, so you have the Eight of Earth, learning all you can about a subject or career. Some of you going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor. Attention to detail is needed right now. And uh, doing skilled work that you love, which is great. Keep that going. Okay, you have the Knight of Wands. Oh my gosh passionate confident charismatic restless events requiring immediate action trust your instincts stay focused in a very passionate relationship it's coming towards you with somebody here somebody's very like they're on fire for you okay you've got the two of i'm sorry the two of uh air um right now being unable or unwilling to make a decision at this time you need to follow your heart rather than make Try to make other people happy. You go make yourself happy. Um, don't pretend there is no problem. You might need to overanalyze the situation first. Whatever it might be. It could be in your, your career. It could be with colleagues. It could be with family. Um, the basic message here is you may be... You, uh, 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 something may be coming to you where you need to make a decision about something in some area of your life. Okay? Um, and I feel like some of you may not have the resources or the ability to make this decision right now. Um, but their message is don't make this decision to make somebody else happy. Make it when you're ready that you're following your own heart, that it's in your best interest. Okay? Hmm. That's interesting. There may be, like, it's definitely time is coming upon you to, to choose something. There may be... Um, a compromise as well in order to for both people to get their needs met may need to compromise something okay there's the queen of swords some of you might be divorced or unmarried okay uh, some of you might be making a decision to release situations or people that no longer serve you some of you 
are coping by seeing the humor in a difficult situation, but stay focusing on your career as well, which is, I feel like that's okay for right now. Like you're putting your career first at this time because that's where you're at. That's what you need to do. I feel like you'll always do that, but I, I, I feel like as this person goes through this transition up until the holiday time, they're, you know, right now, you're kind of like, okay, I'm not really sure what to do about this person. I don't know if I should do anything. I'm not going to do anything just yet. I'm just wait and see and just keep going to work. Okay, Page of Swords. Look at all sword energy. That might have some, this might have something to do with the, this decision being made because you might receive some information that might be challenging to receive. I don't necessarily feel like it's negative. I just feel like, I just feel like it's a little bit of a challenge, okay? Um, and you're going to need to, it could be something as simple as you have to choose between, if you're a manager or a boss, you have to choose between two people, employees, one has to go. It could be something like that. It could have something to do with a relationship as well. Ending a past thing or ending a relationship and starting new with someone. Okay? It could be anything. It's just like a, a challenging decision that you need to make. And you can't just need and you, you can't just make it yet. You have to wait. Okay. Ten of Cups. Could be something to do with leaving a marriage or getting remarried. Uh, seeking a happily ever after okay could have something to do with your children decision about your children at this time um, you're being asked to not make it just yet just to wait okay and you're also being asked to rely on people who you can trust and people who you love that, like your support group your soul tribe whomever that might be okay I definitely feel like there's a happily ever after coming for you though with this person and I, for the new, for the new, the singles, I feel like you can meet meet this person around the holidays. Um, let me get some numbers. Let me get some dates. I want some dates. They're giving me some dates. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use a different deck for the dates. Oh. Okay. Okay, August 2nd, February 8th. February uh, 9th. Okay, um, we also have November 8th, November 1st. Wow, that's 111. Okay. Oh, and November 11th. I'm just kidding. This stuff might be occurring around those dates, or it might be someone who you are connected to. It could be a birth date for someone. Then now they're giving me November 10th. So November 10th, 11th, 8th. Mm, 19th, November 19th. Okay. August 5th and 4th, April 3rd and March 4th. And then we have July 4th. So it could be like around those dates. It doesn't have to be those exact dates. Okay. Um, April 5th. And then um, I have May 4th and 5th as well. Gosh. Something happened in 2020. There might have been... Um, 
There might have been like a, a big change, a negative change that happened in 2020 between two people. Okay, somebody um, closed it down. Clo they just said close something down in 2020. So maybe there was a breakup or something didn't go forward. Um, Oh, I'm also getting December 17th. They're just telling me December 17th or like the week of. Wait, isn't that like the holidays or like Christmas or something? And then um, they're giving me January 1st. Okay, so those are just some numbers. You know, I know you guys, I didn't get any. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I just said to say September 2nd um, and 11th, September 11th and September 8th. Okay, so I don't know if anybody has birthdays around there. Um, did I say August 2nd and 1st and uh, August 21st? Okay, now they're telling me August 21st and 19th. <laughs> And 28th. Okay, stop. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Let's go into the charms. You know, is, is time going slow? I don't get it. Is time going slow? Because it's only 36 minutes. I'm already at the charms. Let me move these cards. I don't understand what's going on here. I feel like time is just going very slow. All right, give me a sec here. Just sit tight, y'all. Listen, if you guys want to donate to my channel, or if you just enjoy these readings, you can always do a super chat. Um, you just, you know, whatever amount, it doesn't matter. You know, if you like the readings, it does help the channel. Um, and any of your donations that you provide do help me to um, purchase more cards, more decks, um to be more creative here on the channel you know it's just a way to give back i know a lot of people just like giving back you know i don't even care if it's a dollar 99 like i i don't like you don't have to i don't need i don't need you to do it but i just want you to know that super chats are always open if you want to donate that's fine because um, i know there are people who do like to do that um okay So I hope you're all doing well. How is everybody? Are you having a nice weekend? All right. Don't, do I not have like a ton of cards on this table or what? Card queen. What does uh, Brittany say? Card flipping queen? Okay. Charm time. Let's get into your charms. Okay, so we have acorns, we have an angel, we have a bat, we have a wrench, we have an avocado, oh, an avocado, we have the day of the dead, a skull, painted skull, we have a Christmas tree, and we have a four-leaf clover. We have cherries, we have an owl. Look at all these charms I'm getting, y'all. And we have an anchor. I'm gonna get one more. Get out, a deer. Didn't I just tell you, wasn't I just talking about the deer? I'm telling you, maybe this reading's for me. I was just talking about the deer. Um, okay. All right, so these messages are going to be strange. I, I can already tell what um, I can already tell what what guide I'm dealing with. Listen, if you have anything hanging from your rearview mirror, if you drive and you have a vehicle, you need to remove it. They're just telling me right now to take that down. Uh, clear your viewing space. That could be symbolic, or that could be actual thing. Clear your viewing space, okay? Because you may not see something you might hit a deer which would not be good 
Um, also, you may get a ticket. You want your windshield to be completely open and clear of debris or anything. There might be some like nuts or leaves or something like acorns somewhere on your vehicle. Um, make sure that your your window, make sure your windows are clear of debris. That's what I just heard. Okay, that's a weird message. Um, Especially, and now they're saying close to um, Halloween and at night, because I feel like, um, oh, some of you, I just heard you need to replace your lights as well. This sounds like an automotive thing going on, or you need to get your car fixed, or you need to get like a, a tool or something. You need to like replace your light bulbs or do something with your lights. Your lights might go out while you're driving, on a rather dark road so um this is kind of a warning to make sure before you go anywhere if you're traveling anywhere to make sure that your you know all the basics are up to par like your tires are good your wheels are good that kind of thing i feel like it's really important it's just a message i mean you're you're protected there's an angel here somebody's getting an angel also christmas ornament i just heard somebody's getting an angel christmas ornament or you're going to hang one up or are you going to get a new angel for your tree for the holidays or something? I don't know. Maybe you had a star up there before. Uh, somebody's deciding to switch it out for an angel or you're going to take the angel down and put a star up because we do have a Christmas tree. I don't know if like maybe you're thinking of getting a new tree or decorating it differently or maybe you're thinking of not having a tree at all that that could be like a big shift or a change some of you might be looking at trees right now i know they're out in like the stores already so you could be looking at that um so i'm kind of feeling like somebody has a um an owl wall clock right so if any of these charm messages resonate for you then these are definitely speaking to you specifically that this reading was for you but i feel like somebody that's all i'm picking up with the owl is like an owl wall clock you've seen one you know when so, someone that has one or you you have one or that's connected to you in some way it's a very bizarre um, message now somebody might be eating an avocado at this time um try to get more healthy fats in your diet if you want to lose weight i just heard if you want to shed some weight load up on healthy fats keep your carb intake low but satiate your hunger with healthy fats like coconut oils avocados um healthy fats from um good nutritional sources not grease fat not bad fats healthy fats uh, so uh, some of you might be on a keto or low carb diet and you're starving and that's because your fat intake is too low you got to raise it and that will satiate you fat fat satiates you and protein but too much protein little carb can turn to fat so i'm just hearing up your fat intake <laughs> um Now, does somebody live near where there is a, uh, a roundabout that you drive? If you live near a roundabout, do you, I don't know if you know what a roundabout is. Not many people do because I think they got rid of them over the years. But they used to be where you would merge into a circle. It's like a circle and all the cars would go around the circle and, and then branch off to other streets, right? If you live near a roundabout, I feel like, um, I don't know, that's, there's a message there about that for you. Be, or be careful driving through the roundabout. And also, um, there's like a, um, I'm seeing a, like a seafood house. Somebody might be going to a seafood house or works in a seafood house or going to a seafood house for dinner with someone making plans it just feels like a, um 
doesn't feel like a, um, like a corporate kind of thing, like you know, Bonefish Grill or something like that. For some of you, it could be, but it feels like um, like a seafood house, like I don't know, Jack's Crabs or something. You're gonna go like break crabs with somebody or crack some crabs and eat, you know, like a real like a like I don't know what to call it. It's just kind of like a maybe like a crab shack or a side place. <laughs> You know, that it's just complete seafood and there's like anchors and ships and crabs and lobster and stuff like that over the wall, all over the walls. Maybe you recently went to a place like that. I just see it could be a family seafood restaurant or something like it's not like, listen, it's not like a red lobster. It's not like a bonefish grill kind of thing. It's more like a, a mom and pop shop or something like it's like it's off the beaten trail. You know, it's a place that it's, it's just like one owner, you know, like one person owns the place. Maybe you work there, um, you know, and if that's the case, this is your message. But I'm just seeing people with bibs. <laughs> I'm seeing people with bibs. That's all I'm saying. Now, of course, the four leaf clover is here. And uh, I did a contest recently and I only had one person who found a four leaf clover. And I feel like four leaf clover is pretty rare to find. So if I offer a free reading to a four leaf clover again, then. Um, that same person's gonna get, just keep getting readings because she she keeps finding clovers. She's like a very lucky person, keeps finding clovers. But I do feel like somebody's getting lucky around the holidays, if you know what I mean. Somebody's getting lucky, okay? Um, and I'm just seeing also um, a four-leaf clover, like a stained glass four-leaf clover that hangs in a window. They just gave me that vision. I don't know who that's for or what that's about. Also cherries. Um, hmm. Now these two resonate for me right now. I'm not going to say why, but it's definitely making me feel like, listen, when I do these readings, like I channel messages, my personal life, nothing to do with it. But every once in a while, something will pop out with like a couple of charms or something. And I'm like, oh, maybe I need to go back and listen to my own reading. <laughs> Because I don't usually pull cards for myself, you know. In fact, I don't, I really don't. Because um, I just channel, I can just intuitively kind of know. But once in a while, I'll pull one or two, just check things out. But there's something to do with these cherries. And I'm just seeing like a, um, a Shirley Temple. Or somebody's name is Shirley. Or you live somewhere near a temple. Or somewhere where there's like, or you go to a temple. I just feel like. Shirley, T Shirley Temple, and then oh, maybe you're just eating cherries. Some of you could be eating cherries right now. And then oh, they just gave me like, see, they keep telling me about this holiday thing, and I feel like with these two cherries sitting here, and then this deer, it feels like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Maybe somebody's name is Rudy or Rudolph, but there's something here to do with Christmas. Look, because we have a Christmas tree. It could be in Ireland. Somebody's going home to Ireland for Christmas or for the holidays or is there now or will be there now um, or is just basically Irish, having like a very fancy Irish Christmas. I don't know. Uh, very lucky time around the holidays. We have a Christmas tree. We have these cherries. Somebody likes cherry pudding or cherry pie. She's my cherry pie. Cool drink of water and do do do. I don't even know those words. It's from like the 80s. I think I was like, what, 17 there? I don't even remember that. It just came to me. Um, somebody's name might be Cherry. Cherry Bomb. Having some drinks around the holidays. Cherry Wine. Who drinks Cherry? Is there a Cherry Wine? Um, are there's like a Christmas pudding or a Christmas cake with cherries on it? Crazy. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, you know what, you guys? I'm going to be, I can't reach these. I'm going to pull some cards from the Rebel deck. I just feel like I need to add a couple of things here before we close out. That was a lot of charms. All right, let's see. A couple of messages here for you, Virgo. All right, you got a feeling that you just can't shake. That little voice inside of you, listen to that shit. Okay. Some of you take a freaking trip, okay? Go see some shit, do some new things, talk to people cooler than you. Some of you need to stop your whining, quit your whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. 
Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it. Okay, believe what you see, face reality, or live in effing la-la land. Choose bravely. Okay, some of you need to apologize to somebody. Effing apologize already. Seriously, just do it. You think someone may be lying to you, Virgo. The message here is they are. Okay, pay attention to that. Okay, time to let go. Move the F on. Okay, some good shit is about to happen here, Virgo. Don't let your issues F it up. <laughs> and then I'm going to do one more and then we're done. Shit is go. Okay, I feel like this is connected to your job. Shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or freaking quit. <laughs> There's something going on here with your job, you guys. That's this something. Okay. You got a feeling about someone at your job. You just can't shake this feeling. You might be complaining to bosses or employers or something about this, but you're just coming across as like you're whining at this point because maybe somebody's not listening. No one wants to listen if you're complaining. You need to change something. Some of you need to reevaluate or change your perspective or quit this job and get a new job okay some of you just need to go on a trip talk to some new people see what else is out there this feels like a career thing you got good thing coming to you um somebody might be at your job lying there might have been an argument you may need to apologize to somebody for the way you reacted to something um even if they were wrong for what they did you have to be accountable for the way you let them have power over you. Okay, you need to face reality. Or you could just stay where you are and live in la-la land and let people take advantage of you. Okay, so I don't know if something going down with your job or your career where you're working. And some of you may be needing to take a look at your job, change things around. I just added these few extra because I had a little extra time. So that's your message, Virgo. I will see you guys. Hopefully tomorrow I'm feeling a little bit better, but we'll have to see. Um, so I'm just kind of playing it by ear. Um, and also, you guys, whoever you're dealing with, right? Whoever your person is. I know we, this is a Virgo channel, but you, I am uploading again the 10-day love readings for every zodiac sign on my other channel. Now, listen, those readings might piss you off because you might hear that your person is leaving you right? I feel like cross-watching is probably not a good thing, but I will say, um, I mean, you're going to do what you're going to do, right? Um, but I will say that the best thing to do um, is for you to, if you listen to other Zodiac channels other than Virgo, okay, um, listen for your like, your moon, your rising, or your Venus, if you know where they are, rather than cross-watching. Because cross-watching, Remember, they're general readings. And you might hear something from cross-watching a reading, and that might really upset you. And, and it might not even be true, because it's a general reading, and it's not tailored specifically for you. So my recommendation as a tarot reader is to stop cross-watching, really. That's my, just my recommendation, my suggestion. I'll mandate it, but it's not law. So you do whatever you want, but I think... The good point about watching tarot card readings is that you get insight and guidance for self. And that really should always be what it's about when you listen to how to make your world better, your life better, how to make everything better for yourself. Even though we do talk about other people here, and that does help, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I feel like just be mindful when you're watching the readings, the general readings. I know sometimes people come in here and they're like, that's not what's happening. That's not what's going on. Listen, when I'm giving you my readings here, you guys have to understand that I'm looking ahead. So I know some of you are going to, like, some of it is present and some of it's ahead. I know some of you are like, that's not happening. Well, of course it's not fucking happening because we're not there yet. So it's a dumb comment, okay? And if it's not happening right now, then it's just not your reading. And so, you know, logic people, logic, okay? So this, the reading that I gave you today, I'm looking towards forward in November, 
All right, so if you're listening to this, and you're like, well, I don't understand what's going on. I don't have anybody in my life. Well, I did say you could be meeting somebody around the holidays, right? I mean, come on, you guys. And I, I can talk. I don't even know if I'm talking. I don't even know if those people who are coming in here saying this stuff are actually Virgos. Because I've never met a stupid Virgo, ever. <laughs> ever. I don't just say that. Listen, I'm the cusp of Leo and Virgo. Okay, so I got some Leo in me, but I've never seriously, every Virgo I've ever met is always very intelligent and are not flaky. Even even if they are flaky, they're still super smart and very logical, so I don't understand who who those people are. But again, no, I'm not judging because I don't do that. All right, you guys, so again, I'm going to leave you reading here. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Bye-bye.